If you're looking to remove green screen from a video clip, you're in the right place. We'll get started right after this. So the first thing you want to do is open up Final Cut. So I'm going to cut to my, I'm going to share my screen with you. So I already have Final Cut open, but I do not have a project or a library open yet. First thing you want to do if you don't have it already is open a new library. So I'm going to go to new. I have a folder called main files for this project. And we're going to call this library how to remove green screen for now. You can always change this later. So I'm going to hit save, and that's going to create our new library. So now we got to bring in the files to do this and create a new project. All right, so you're going to import your files. This is how we're going to get started. I have mine in a folder called main files. So I'm just going to select all my files. Let's try that again. And import. And I got a couple extra files in here. We're going to have fun. We're going to bring in Maybe some Mother Nature and some Mother Nature sounds because we're doing a green screen where I'm supposed to be outside. So I have some forest ambience. I have a river stream. And then I have my, my backgrounds that we're going to put in to replace the green screen. So the first thing we're going to do is open a new project. After we get our files in, we're going to call this again, How to Remove green screen from video and we're going to hit OK and that gives us a new project right here so and then we have all our plugins over here I have extra plugins I'm happy to share some of uh, the locations where I get my plugins but we're going to use basic Final Cut plugins for this tutorial so now we'll import the green screen clip which I have shot in one of our smaller studios here. And you'll see that it's just raw video. So when visiting your national parks. On a green screen. There's nothing fancy about it. You can see lights that we, we have two lights that backlight our background. And then we have two uh, front lights here and then a couple up top. So basically, at this point, we're going to remove the green screen. So the first thing you're going to want to go do is, if you don't see this window, it's because you don't have this clicked on right here. So click that on, then you got all your plugins. Go down to Keyin and grab your keyer. And right there, when I just click on it one time, you can already see that it's keyed out the green screen background. I'm going to go ahead and drag that right over to on my clip and let go and boom there it is next we're going to go into cropping these lights out but before I do that I just want to show you right here under inspector under Keyer that we just applied to that clip if you hit show you can add and reduce strength of the green screen see that also, if you have any holes, like if you see holes in your body or glasses, you can use this fill holes and that'll really clean it up really nice. So you can kind of see between my legs, there is kind of a, a hole when I increase this. So you got to be careful when you use these tools that you don't do too much. Also, here under green screen, you can select a wider range of green. But if you go too wide, you'll start getting weird imperfections on, on the talent. I think we look pretty good at this point, but go ahead and you can just play with these tools and you can always hit reset and 
reset the whole clip again too if you didn't like it so i'm gonna hide that for now but if you see if we turn off here there's before here's after now i have a little prop on the floor here and you'll see that when we when we play the video you'll understand what i've done here so i'm gonna go ahead and key it and there we go so now we have a keyed shot on the trail You'll find a lot of interesting things throughout the park, uh, um, like we have one right here. Look at that. It's a heart-shaped rock. I thought that was appropriate because it is Valentine's Day today. So, so now we want to bring in a background. We also need to get rid of these lights here. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop. So I under transform and I, I keep these windows open in my inspector because I use them all the time I don't like to hide them like this I keep them open so I'm gonna crop the left side see that I'm just cropping it out right to that edge you don't want to do any more than that if you don't have to you can see I got it really close to the edge there now I'm keyed out now we can bring in a background and I think what I'm going to bring in is this shot right here of nature. And it's kind of along a stream. And it's a not a moving shot. It's a steady shot on a tripod. And that's important when you're shooting green screen. Unless you're doing motion tracking, you want to shoot the footage on a tripod. Just lock down. And you want a shot that's going to fit into your background that's not moving as well. I have this shot right here. Be respectful and stay on the trails. But you can see that I'm standing in the water and the size is maybe the proportion is a little bit off. I'm gonna reduce the size of myself here by going to scale all and I'm just gonna pull down here, scale myself down, you can do it here or you can do it here by pushing up and down. And I'm going to move myself over onto these rocks. Because I think that looks pretty real. But I'm going to scale myself down just a little bit more. And put myself right there. So, and then I have a shot where I bend down to pick up this rock. But again, my foot is off the rock here, so I'm going to slide myself over a little bit. Actually, I want to slide myself back. Right there. Here. Now you can see. Look at that. That's a heart-shaped rock along the river here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, I have a couple little things to make it feel alive so I'm just going to snip off that piece of footage and we're going to bring in nature sounds so I have one that's forest ambiance I'm going to set my in point and my out point here by hitting I and O and then it doesn't I don't have to cut so much off this clip might be a little bit loud, so let's play it. And stay on the trails. You'll find a lot of interesting things throughout the park, um, like we have one right here. Yeah, so that's that doesn't sound bad, but give it a little bit more natural sound because we have a stream right here, so you would hear running water. So I have this clip right here. So we're going to drag that in. Again, I could have snipped it off before or just do it this way. Please let me know if I'm moving too fast. I'm going to take this down because I think it's going to be really loud. Be respectful and stay on the trail. You can't hear me talking, so I'm going to turn it down. Interesting things throughout the park, um, like we have one right here. Look at that. It's a heart-shaped rock. Now that, 
That looks pretty good. Rock. That looks pretty good. Sounds natural. But we can go a step further and add a different environment if we wanted. Or we can add someone to the picture here. Let's bring in this, this buck. I think maybe he's standing right. Let's see, he just he's just standing here. I'm gonna click him right here. I want him kind of this shot right here. Now, there's a lot of these type of clips on YouTube, and they're they're free to use. Again, you can key out same way, drop a key ear in on that, and look, we already have this buck in the shot, but again, it's in the wrong position. So I'm gonna move it over to here and I'm gonna size it down a little bit to make it look like it's further away and just observing us from a distance. So let's see if we can get a little bit more of this buck in the shot. And I don't think I have enough. So I could actually, I could slow it down, go half speed, you won't even know. And I'm gonna take the volume down here and let's see what we got now. So when visiting your national parks, be respectful and stay on the trails. You'll find a lot. Yeah, that looks pretty real. We could also bring in a different environment really easily, like this park setting right here. This is a nice shot. Just clicking away here. So now I'm way up in the, I'm on top of the bench basically. I'm gonna move myself. I'm gonna get rid of the audio on this clip. I don't wanna use that audio. I wanna have control of the audio. So I'm just gonna detach audio and hit delete on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna use the blade tool and cut this right here because I'm gonna use myself in a different way here. I'm gonna use a, a close-up shot. I'm gonna move myself around by hitting select tool and bring it in to here, like so. That looks pretty real. And then we wouldn't have running water at that point, so I'm gonna get rid of that, but I'll keep I'll keep this nature sound in. This is just a test of doing my green screen shoot. This show you how we can put individuals in different environments on film. That's pretty simple. So basically, you select your clip, you bring in the keyer, you drag and drop it on it, and it's going to key it out pretty much exactly the way you want it if you light it properly. And then, like I said, these clips here, like the deer, I could bring butterflies in on this clip. Again, they're keyed out, so I just drag the keyer, and boom, we got butterflies into the scene. It's a test of doing you can see them up here in the background. Shoot to show you how we can put into bit. But it's pretty simple. It's not. It's not hard to work with green screen. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So when visiting your national parks. Be respectful and stay on the trails. You'll find a lot of interesting things throughout the park, um, like we have one right here. Look at that. It's a heart-shaped rock along the river here. You'll find lots of interesting rocks and agates along these river systems. This is just a test of doing my green screen shoot to show you how we can put individuals in different environments on film. Hey, if you like this video, hit subscribe below. Also, 
be sure to check back often. We have a lot of gear review videos, Final Cut Pro videos, how to edit, how to light, how to use cameras, you name it. So check back often. Thanks.